Did you know that Rihanna follows my brand, This Is A Love Song? Hi, my name is Stephanie and I am the host of the Start Your Fashion Business channel. Welcome to this channel. If you want to learn about all things fashion business, then you have come to the right place. So I'm a sustainable fashion entrepreneur. I have my own sustainable fashion brand as well as an ethical garment manufacturing studio and fashion school. My passion is to help you build a successful and sustainable fashion business. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about how Rihanna started following my fashion brand. This is a love song. After her epic Super Bowl performance this week, I am low-key obsessed with Rihanna. I used to be so obsessed with her and then she stopped making music and I'm really glad that she made that comeback. So when I saw that performance, I automatically remembered like, hey, she was following This Is A Love Song. Let's see if she still does. And guess what? She's still following us. And I wanna share with you you know, how we did that because we were a very small brand at the time. I was just starting out and I was selling in the US, but we managed to get Rihanna. And this was also at the high point of her career, by the way. So, you know, she was already bad gal Riri and, you know, a big time pop star. And she started following my brand. This is a love song. And, you know, our brand, like we are a small brand coming out of Bali. So if I can do it, then so can you. And so here is what I did. And hopefully these are the strategies that you can implement to get somebody like Rihanna to follow your brand too. So step number one, I created a killer collection, the collection that caught the attention of Rihanna at the time. It was really her vibe. It was a collection that I did uh, for fall winter and it was a black and white collection. We took inspiration from Michael Jackson and we had these like really cool streetwear jerseys. And then I made this really like sick jacket with a tie dye and the tie dye was all done by hand and it was like a black and white tie dye and the jacket was really huge. It's really like her style. Actually, in fact, the jackets that her backup dancers were wearing in the Super Bowl performance, it looks similar to that, but it had this like really funky tie dye thing going on. So the collection itself was already super strong. And what we did was I found the stylist contact and it was so easy at the time because she was always hanging out with him. His name was Mel and we just got in touch with him sent the catalog and he loved the collection. So what we did was we sent a few pieces. However, I wasn't like thinking that Rihanna was gonna wear it. We just decided, okay, let's just give it a shot. We never know. And we sent some select pieces, including this one particular jacket. And guess what happened? One day she was walking out of the studio in that jacket and she got papped and the photos were everywhere. And this is how the whole thing blew up. What's cool about it is not just the fact that she wore it, the fact that she actually, when she received the package, decided to follow our brand too. I guess she really loved it. So one morning I had my roommate at the time frantically come running to my door and knocking on my bedroom door. And she's like, oh my God, bad gal Riri has started following you. And I was like, what? And I checked and she did. And I, my jaw basically dropped to the floor. So what can you learn from this story? So obviously what I did was really simple, right? I reached out to the stylist, the stylist loved it and then decided to place it on Rihanna. However, I don't want to minimize the fact that it actually all started with having a strong brand identity as well as a strong collection. If you don't have either of those things, it's gonna be really hard for you to reach out to a stylist who works with a major celebrity to get them to be okay with you sending a package to their client. Because again, the stylist is there really to style the image of the celebrity or this public figure. And they're only gonna be wanting to work with brands that can enhance that image. So obviously, you know, my brand was very streetwear vibes and we had this really like cool branding and cool following. And we had that way before we even started pitching to the stylist. So we were already building that no matter what. And this is very, very important. Now, of course, that makes it so much easier for somebody like the stylist to look at our brand and say, okay, well, you know, this brand is cool. It has a vibe that you know, is on brand with Rihanna as well. And on top of that, this collection is so dope. So of course, like this is something that she would wear and it would make the stylist look good too. So those two 
things are important and will make it easy for you to reach out to stylists to potentially work with them. And in my case, I didn't pay for the stylist. All we did was literally make the gift package and then we paid for the shipping and sent it. Now, of course, Rihanna didn't actually post our product and tag us. However, she has like a legion of fan websites. So we got so many tags from her fan websites. There's even websites basically dedicated to what she wears. So it drove a lot of traffic for us for this particular jacket. And in fact, I'm even thinking of bringing this jacket back. I mean, this is a collection that I did ages ago. However, it might be the time to go through those archives and release this jacket again for fall winter. Now, of course, if you want to check out my brand, I've left the description, uh, the links in the description box below so you can see. But yeah, this is just me telling you that if you want this, you don't necessarily need to get a big PR. You don't necessarily need to spend the big bucks as long as you have a solid brand and you can make those connections, which anybody can do online, reaching out to people, but with a solid offer, then you're off to a good start. Now, of course, if you're struggling right now with creating a solid branding, I actually want to invite you because I'm hosting a free branding masterclass so that you can have a killer fashion brand in 2023 with a solid branding strategy. And I mean, branding is something that I do uh, all the time for not just my brand, but for my client's brand. So I've done this for the past 14 years. So if you want to create a strong brand identity, especially one that is up to date, because again, if you have a fashion brand and right now your sales are basically slow and you're growing slow, it's probably a sign that it's time for a rebrand. So whether you want to launch a brand this year or you have a brand and you need a rebrand strategy, check out this free masterclass. I'm leaving the link in the description box below as well. And on top of that, you actually get a free brand guide if you join this free masterclass. So yeah, I hope you get to score Riri too. Let me know if you have any other questions and don't forget to follow me, um, especially on Instagram because I drop daily fashion business tips there as well as on my TikTok. So all the links are below and I will see you in the next one.